Hey everyone, welcome to Road to the International 3. Today I have Miguel uh, from Absolute Legends and today we're going to talk about the West Qualifier. It's the 10th of May today and this is probably going to go out tomorrow so it won't be too outdated. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you for having me. So if you guys go want to know a bit more about what uh, Miguel has achieved over the years since he's been playing Dota, is this correct, from 2008 or have you been playing earlier? I've been playing earlier. Yeah, earlier. So years and years upon years of experience. <laughs> um, and this doesn't even uh, tell you all of his achievements. What would you say is your, has been your best moment as a professional Dota player? <laughs> My best moment? Oh, that's a hard one. I actually think, actually, when I, when we went to SMM, first time just going there to see it, it's like so much uh, different than uh, what you went to other lands. It's like the fans go so much more into it than they do in, uh, like, when we play the home in Europe and stuff like that. So, uh, do fans really motivate you to do better then? Would you say? Yeah, of course, when there's like so much rushing and stuff like that. Like my two first lands in Denmark, that was like, uh, we get to the final. We played versus, I think, one of my first lands versus Misery and Darkie's team. There's like nobody watching at all, just some Danish land, but still. It's so much cooler when there's people watching and cheering on you. Do you get people asking you for autographs and pictures? <laughs> yeah, some lands actually, there's uh, some asking for pictures and autographs. I think the first time it like it happened really it was like a DTS Cup I think 2009. Okay. How many times if ever have you considered retiring from being a pro player? You're almost 25. You're I am 25 in turning yeah. 26 later this year. So yeah. how many times has that thought crossed your mind? Oh. Actually in Dota 1 the thought never appeared to me. But uh, actually, around before Mania asked me to join this team, I was actually thinking about retire for a long time and focus on my study instead. Because I'm getting a little old, but I still, I feel like this is what I want to do. So when he then asked me if I wanted to join, I was like ready for it again. But that was like where I really decided if should I continue or stop. What do you do now? Is being a pro player enough to support you so you can focus on it? And uh, not at all. I uh, like my apartment cost around uh, eight hundred dollars just to live in, so it's not enough. I, I study, and in Denmark you get uh, paid to study, like one k uh, dollars, I believe, and then I have a part-time job too. So that's why I can. So it's not full time. I go to school every day. So ah, okay. So that's how you can balance it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Um, one of your fans wanted to know um, what you think about the Danish Dota 2 scene and if you think, like, like what's going to happen in the coming year? Oh, in the coming year? Actually, I don't know. I don't know so many of the... I know many of the Danish, but most of them break up the teams or disbanded. Mm -hmm. I think there can come one or two good Danish teams again if the people find each other again and come up. Okay. Do you think it's that important anyway to have teams that are comprised of people from the same country or do you find that it's not so much of a big deal these days? Actually, a time ago I believe it was really important to have five of the same country but after we started playing with Miracle and that, I've been playing with all also, I don't feel like you need to, it's nice. Miracle can under understand Danish but we mostly speak English anyway. But it's, I don't feel like, if you have a good connection I think it doesn't matter. How close do you feel with the team you're with now? Would you say you're kind of like brothers or...? <laughs> I, I don't know how uh, it's like, but uh, it's like uh, we, we have a really good connection. I feel like everybody is happy, even if we lose, we talk about the things and what can we improve, what can we do better. We, we have a really good connection, I feel. It's not like, no, it feels like we're working together and we, ne we know what we need to do to get better and stuff like that. So I feel like it's a good connection we got. Would you say if you had to pick one, who are you the closest to? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, I don't even think I can pick one. 
I feel. That's... no. Nah, I don't think I can pick one. Are you afraid that you're, that you're gonna hurt their feelings if you, if you no, pick one? No, not at all. Not at all. I flame them all, all the time when we play, so... <laughs> it's like, not at all. Okay. But I don't think... I think I'm connected with many of them different ones. I've been playing with Mania for many years. Rise 2. Haven't been playing with Miracle before and uh, Unicorn. We got... he's the youngest on the team. We got him. But I feel we all have a good connection together. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the, uh, the the international three qualifier invites. Um, did you expect to be invited, or was there a part of you that was pretty worried? Uh, I was eighty percent sure we would get invited to the qualifier. Okay. I would say yeah. we were like pretty sure, but not sure because there was like one team more. Like we felt like. Uh, I cup Kai P or us who like and some uh, I can't remember the last one who are like who's gonna be but I was like eighty percent sure we would get invited to it okay. because we have been stable since we've been together and we've been playing. Do you think, in a sense, that uh, you're lucky that uh, Kai P had a lot of roster changes, so it was hard for them to be invited? Yeah, actually, yeah, against us, we've been performing so badly against us. They beat us every time we play them, I believe. So, for us, it's good. Mm -hmm. Totally agree on that. If um, I'm showing them the uh, the teams that that are uh, in the group. So, uh, if, say, Kaipi were to be invited, which team do you think would not have been invited? Which do you think is the weakest link from the group of eight? Oh, let me check two sec. Actually, I be maybe believe it's ICAP, I will say. But I don't know, they're really strong on land, so... But I will... My guess would probably be on them. Okay. They're boot camping. <laughs> yeah, so, actually... You, but it's like, you can't say that's a weak team. They wouldn't been invited. They've been to that land over in Russia. Can check lab, I think it was, where they beat Navi and stuff like that. So I don't think they're weak. I don't think any weak team will be invited, so... It'll be tough to qualify, of course. Okay. Um, how did your family and your friends react to the news? I mean, do they even get excited anymore? You've been to so many tournaments already. Um, my dad always like, uh, and they always like. He always wants, how is it going? Is uh, uh, write to me if I'm someplace. Say, uh, are you winning? Are you losing? So he's like, and my brother has always been supportive of me. The same with my mom. So they follow. They really want to know what. Uh, is going on and stuff like that. So, so uh, I, I want to know a bit more about the training. Um, can you tell me how you guys have been training? Uh, actually, we had a lot of school, a lot of time. So, I had some. We had some free in these holidays uh, yesterday and today. I also free. So we've been practicing yesterday, like uh, I think seven hours, and today we're practicing a lot. And we're gonna practice tomorrow and Sunday too, about ten hours every day. But else, we haven't been practicing playing that much, maybe three games a day, because I got schools, some have uh, work and others have school, so me, Miracle Wise have school, Media and uh, Unicorn have work, so it's like, we need to f fit it in when we practice and when we study team and stuff like that. Okay, so you're not going to have any sort of boot camp, maybe like over the weekend or anything? No, we're just uh, trying to play as much as possible as we can and but it's uh, going better for our team, I will say. Okay. Who do you scrim against? Oh, we played, actually played uh, some Ruskers. Uh, Didi we played and uh, EG. That, that is the team I think we played the most right now. We're going to scrim crew, but tomorrow. Did you beat them convincingly? Actually, uh, actually we did some of the games, they, but they beat us too. So it, it was pretty even, I will say. What has been the biggest difficulty? in training so far? It's getting everybody's times together. Like, uh, we have it, all of us doing so many different things, so we need to find practice time where we all can meet, all can come, and all can play. And then also uh, my internet connection is really, really bad. So that's also like sometimes we, we're gonna play, but then I say, I can't play, it's impossible for me. I like too much. Okay. And then we call it off. Do you also do group activities that's not training Dota lately? Like, say for example, you've been training a lot together. Do you s suddenly say, "Oh goodness, this is too much training. Let's go play, like CS:GO." Uh, actually, I don't think we do that much. Else, we go in a pub and just go <laughs> like 
weird mode or something like that. Okay. It's like it's like we go pubs together sometimes and just have fun there. It's not that serious. Okay. Have you been doing so lately, or not really been focusing more? There we've been. Yeah, I think I think we've been focusing more. We sometimes play. We played some pub yesterday because one of our players needed to go. But we pl we've had some fun there. But else. Else we most focus focus on the tournament to qualify to get past it. One of your fans, uh, Sesik, um, wanted to know why it seems that your team is switching roles often, except for uh, your main carry. Yeah, uh, we started out with uh, I think a miracle middle me off lane and a mania wise support and unit carry. It was going fine at some time ago, but like we felt like it's it was either me or miracle calling the shots. And then we felt like uh, maybe we should have Miracle on support again. And then it was like uh, me and then it was like who should go offlane, who should go mid. And then we discussed it and we tried like uh, Mania said I, I can play good offlane. And I said I can go back to middle then. And then we tried it out and we felt like it worked better for Miracle calls most of our shots early game. Will you be playing from somewhere else instead of your home for the qualifiers since you said your internet? Yeah, I will uh, probably go to a nip cafe in, here in Denmark. Okay. Are you going to try it out first over the weekend to make sure it's okay? I have been playing that before, so so I can, I know it's uh, fine from be playing that, so okay. so I'll probably play from that place. Okay, so uh, let's talk a bit about your expectations um, about TA3 uh, and the the qualifier. So, um, what do you think your chances are to get out of Group A? That's a hard one. I actually feel like we had a 50-50% chance to get a pass from the group. I feel like we're doing well when we're playing screams and so I think a 50% chance we can get a pass from the group. Okay. Do you, uh, which other team do you think might get through? No. Oh. I haven't actually, I don't know that much about uh, Empire. We haven't cracked against them. We don't know how to play and stuff like that, so I would say us and either Empire or Didi, I would believe, will go through. Yes. A, uh, Didi ha seemed to be pretty strong, they just won a couple of games yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I saw some of the games, they've been doing really good lately. So you were watching the games? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching uh, most of the games, uh, if, uh, some of the teams were playing in the qualifier, of course. Okay. Do you only watch the uh, the games of the teams you'll be playing up against, or do you sometimes try to watch maybe what's going on, on in the East to maybe? Oh, actually, I uh, watched really, uh the Chinese VC versus LKG, where they won. I watched that too, okay. somewhere. So I actually watch most of the games. I like seeing how the Chinese play and how they do. Which heroes do you think will be banned and picked the most? Uh, this bet will be banned slash picked every time, I believe. Batrider? Batrider and uh, Wisp. That's like, I think they will be banned and picked every time. Uh, okay. And, uh, that I will be pretty sure about. <laughs> what do you think of uh, the other three more recently added heroes to CM? Drow, Tusk, yeah, and Kyrath? Uh, I think actually it was Drow, Tusk, Skyward. Yeah, it was those. I think actually they. I don't know with Tosca, he's like the pin. It's like maybe, maybe not. But I think Skyward will be played. And who was the last one? I told you. Drew. Drew is situational, I believe. If uh, you have a good swing lineup around it, I think it will be picked. Okay. So, say if you do qualify, um, either f um, first or second, do you think your team. Have you put any thought into how you'll train in the future? Yeah, actually, it's uh, actually good for most of us because uh, in for school you get a holiday in one like a month and ten, fifteen days, and then if we goes through, we have a lot of time to practice together for the international. Okay, cool. Will you be boot camping? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> has uh, has AL like given you some incentives or something? Like, if you guys qualify, we will send you to this amazing, luxurious boot camp. <laughs> Uh, not not yeah. at all. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to keep you from eating because you mentioned that you'll uh, be going to have dinner with your brother soon. Yeah. So I just want to show everyone where they can follow you. So hey, everyone, you can uh, go to his uh, 
over here is Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Miguel Dota. And also uh, follow his Twitch TV, which is also Miguel Dota. But uh, he hasn't been streaming lately because of his uh, internet connection. Hopefully, be streaming again <laughs> in the near future. I don't know. But if you win, then you'll be training so much, so... Then no <laughs> screaming. Oh <That's> no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, this is the Absolute Legends Facebook page. You can follow them over here. It is facebook.com slash absolute legends. Who would have guessed? <laughs> and uh, same for Twitter as well. And this is their website. So if you want to follow them, know more about what they're doing, then please do so. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Would you like to shout out to anyone? Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I would like to shout out to my team and, of course, my brother and then all our fans supporting us, believing in we can do do this. And, of course, our sponsor, Ale. So for all of you who are watching, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this interview. I'll be uh, doing some more interviews. If you have any questions for Dread or um, Ninja Boogie, then please do feel free to leave them as comments. Okay, thank you so much and see you next time.